What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So today we'll be doing a simple DIY install video on my Honda S2000. I know it's been a little while since you guys have seen this car and uh, yeah. Ever since we got the new car, my Lexus RCF, the S2000. I don't want to say it's been neglected but obviously the new car gets a little more love. Plus I drive the RCF to work every day. So today we'll be working on the S2000. Uh, we'll be doing a very simple DIY video, like I said. And um, I do drive this car occasionally on the weekends, but you know, I figured might as well spice up the interior a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and unlock the car. Check out the interior real quick for those of you guys who are new to the channel. So this is my 2007 Honda S2000. Um, so if you take a look at the interior, First thing you notice are these seats. If you guys are curious, these are the Recaro SR4 seats. Uh, we do have an install video on the YouTube channel. And on the bottom, I paired them to the rival company. We have bright seat brackets underneath. Uh, we have some nice OEM floor mats, S2000 red OEM floor mats, really nice and clean. Uh, nice little Mugen carbon fiber shift knob little ARC shift plate not I don't know how to shift but JDM points you know uh, over here we have this modify phone bracket and then I also recently replaced these two little knobs because over time they crack so I've OEM once um, you guys might notice steering wheel is not here so we have a quick release setup this is the work spell short hop and then we have a work spell and NRI quick release is a collaboration piece. So notice right here it says made in Japan. That's the NRI Night Runner International collaboration piece. And then for the steering wheel, we have a nice uh, Momo steering wheel. This is the ASM steering wheel. The ASM horn, very nice. Nice leather steering wheel. So yeah. Uh, and then also in here we have a small little spoon. Uh, rear view mirror. This is just a glass overlay. So that's about it. But the simple DIY video I'm going to do, let me show you guys what we have. Okay, and when I say simple, I mean super easy install. But what we have right here are some Chasing J's titanium bolts. These will go on the steering wheel. What's super cool about these is these are actually the Chasing J's and Grady collaboration. Um, it was like a one run, one time limited production. So not sure how many of them are around, but whenever they had it, I actually bought it for my Mitsubishi Lancer turbo build on the steering wheel. We have them on the Voltex steering wheel. Um, this set again is brand new. I was able to get my hands on them because someone was reselling them. Um, but yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but I'll show you guys later. They just look like your normal titanium bolts, but it has Chasing Jace as well as Grady's logo engraved on it. And I actually had people ask me on the YouTube channel, uh, where can I buy them? Can I buy it off you? Um, but yeah, since these are pretty rare pieces, I, I believe a one-time collaboration piece a few years back, I'm gonna keep it. And right now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the steering wheel setup. Um, we do have the standard bolts on there. So just your, you know, stainless steel bolts. With the titanium look, I think it's gonna look so cool. Uh, also ties in with some of the titanium goodies that we have in the S2000's engine bay. All right, and to swap out these stainless steel bolts, all you need are your Allen key. Just find the right size, comes right off. So pretty much took out most of the bolts. I just left one reason being so that way I could put on the new bolts and I wouldn't have to readjust where this is. Um, so right now let's go ahead and show you guys the new Chasing J's Grady steering wheel bolts. All right, so whenever you open it up, there's a nice little Chasing J sticker as well as a little thank you card. 
so it's very nice thank you for the purchase and then on the other side just a disclaimer recommend you can handle uh, titanium with gloves but yeah very very nice um, I've had Chasing Jay's products on you know my Mitsubishi Lancer show build and I've quite a few titanium parts uh, on Chasing Jay's on the S2000 as well so pretty excited to rock these new uh, steering wheel bolts okay so I know it's tiny but here on the titanium bolt you guys could actually see it says uh, Greddy as well as Chasing Jays engraved on there as well as the Chasing Jays logo as well so might be a little bit hard to see but it says Greddy on the top on the bottom Chasing Jays so yeah pretty neat alright so how we took it out same exact way with these titanium bolts you just gonna go ahead and feed it through and then use the same allen key and tighten all of them down so we have all six bolts in they look amazing so I always like to retighten everything again um, I like to personally do the star and then go all around so you're gonna you know do it get it nice and snug you don't want to over tighten it because you, you want to make sure not to strip the bolts but at the same time you want to make it sure it's nice and snug so I like to do the star pattern and then you can just you know go all around again just to double check make sure everything's been nice and tight so I already went one round right now. So star pattern, if you guys don't know what it is, you can just start here, crisscross. So you skip one at a time. So that's a star pattern. And then now that I'm done, I'm just gonna start all over again in a full circle, just to make sure they're all nice and snug. So nice. This is just double checking. It's nice and tight, nice and tight. Yeah, pretty simple, um, you know, DIY install anyone can get it done all you need is a little Allen key all right the chasing J's Grady titanium bolts are all in I think they look amazing so it's very subtle but you know compared to the stainless steel ones I think it looks a lot better so here's a little idea stainless steel titanium I think the stainless steel pops more but you know can't go wrong with titanium you can never have too much titanium and it's so subtle so if you know you know to me I personally like the little details in a build so yeah pretty excited to have these uh, string wool bolts on and actually this is the very first titanium part we have in the interior um, I'll show you guys here in a bit we do have quite a few titanium goodies in the engine bay but in my interior this is the very first titanium part that we have all right, so now that's all done, let's do a quick little cinematic edit in three, two, one. So I hope you guys like the short little cinematic edit of the new titanium steering wheel bolts. Now let's show you guys underneath the hood. Like I said, we do have some uh, titanium goodies. So those of you guys who are new to the channel might not know what we have here. So let's show you guys. So here's my S2000 engine bay. 
Uh, with all my builds, you guys know I always like to keep it clean inside and out. So titanium stuff we have here. We do have this titanium strut bar from ASM. It's actually an X brace bar, which means besides going across, it also has an X brace down here. So pretty cool. That's from ASM, which is the same brand as my steering wheel. Um, and then over here, we do have Chasing J's. This is the battery tie down. And we also have this piece right here in titanium, also from Chasing J's. This is the uh, spark plug cover. And then this piece right here, it is not your burnt titanium, but I believe this piece, the quad pack cover is also in titanium and is actually from Ballistic. Uh, so he made a limited production run of a hundred of these uh, serial numbered. I got number 88. So my fellow Asians will know eight is a lucky number in the Asian culture. Um, yeah, you know, that's pretty much what titanium goodies I have here. I'm not sure if this ARC radiator plate is made of titanium, to be honest, or stainless steel. If anyone knows, let me know. And then, oh, before I forget, these lab, um, radiator uh, brackets are Chasing J's titanium as well. So pretty nice. Um, yeah. Slowly but surely, the S2000's engine bay, the interior exterior is all slowly transforming for us. So hope you guys are liking the S2000 update. All right, so if you guys made it to the end, I hope you guys like it. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you want to check out more S2000 videos, we have a bunch of them on the channel since we got the S2000. So make sure to check those out as well. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.